Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're gonna to talk about hip mobility to help alleviate low back pain. Low back pain is super, super common, especially in the Western world where we all sit in chairs. So our hips do not normally hit their full range of motion every day. Very, very common problem. For some reason, the solution is not well known. What we are going to do is we are going to give you five exercises. We're gonna talk our way through each exercise individually. And then at the end, the goal is for you to do one minute of each exercise in a row for exactly a five minute hip mobility workout slash warm up. You should do this every day. Doesn't matter who you are, what your sport is, or what your level of athleticism is. This is for absolutely everyone. So very simple way to start. We're gonna sit with two hip bones all the way on the ground. The distance between our feet should be the distance from our ankle to our knee. That is the same distance as our normal squat. Normally we like to squat with our feet pointed straight ahead, but if there's a little bit of turnout in there, it's not a huge issue for now. What we're gonna do is work the mobility of our hips so that eventually we can point our feet straight ahead and have better squat dynamics, which yield less back pain, which is generally good for everybody. First movement, we're gonna set up two hands behind you, fingers pointed back. Lift your chest up. If you collapse forward and your chest hurts or your shoulder hurts, that means you need to lift your chest up higher and pull your shoulder blades back and together. First movement, the windshield wiper, we should drop our knee all the way down. This is exactly how wide our standing squat should be, and this is exactly how wide we need to be in order to do this exercise. We want our knee to end up at the instep of our foot. It should cradle right inside of there. In the first movement, we are gonna to try to have our first leg up and the other leg down. You can see I'm a little bit tight today because we just did a bunch of fight training, so we do this as maintenance for everybody, no matter what. The other leg goes up, we are gonna drop the opposite leg down. The goal, you will see people will lift this hip up and they will turn their body away. We want to turn our body back to the front, lean forward and try to drive this hip down to the ground. When you're really mobilized, both hip bones will stay on the ground the entire time. If you're a little tight, if you're messed up, this hip will be lifted. The goal is to reach forward to drive that hip down. If it feels like your hip is about to rip out of the socket, you're totally doing it correct. One leg up, one leg down. We're just gonna demonstrate three reps on each side. Lift the chest. Touch one, touch two, three, four, five, and six. Second movement is the full shin box. We're gonna have our hands behind us for now. We're gonna drop one leg down, bring the other leg down. Now, drive our hip down into the ground to avoid this big spinal movement. We would like to have our crown to coccyx alignment drive to verticalize our spine, drive this hip into the ground. Hands on the ground, shift across to the other side. Drive yourself forward to drive this hip into the ground. You're literally trying to create space inside that joint by making these two things pull apart. We are exhaling at the end point of every movement to try to force our body to relax. If we hold our breath, this thing's gonna be tight. Exhale, drive down and in. The important part is this knee and this ankle and this hip. This one's gonna do a bunch of weird stuff. All you have to do is drive down with your rear arm to push way into this hip. Connect through this shoulder, fire the lat. There are more complex versions of the shin box. This is the one we're gonna start with for now. And we're gonna add one level of complexity to make this shin box elbow. Now, set up. Our knee is at the instep of our foot. We're trying to drive our hip down. Now we're gonna take our drop knee. That elbow is gonna come across towards our knee. Palm is flat on the ground. 
or drive our elbow down into the ground from here. Straighten both arms out, set up for the other side. Hand, hand, click across to the other side, drive forward for one second, take our hand, elbow on the ground. Our elbow and our knee should basically be right at the same spot. When we come up, straighten the arms. The feet should not move for now. They can move later. Elbow touch, press up. Shin box across, our feet are still squat distance apart. Knee touches the ground, elbow touches the ground. Across to the other side. That was exercise number three, shin box to elbow. I'm gonna move around a little bit more for the last one, for the last two. This one, shin box arm thread. Set up for our shin box. Knee comes down, knee at the line of our instep on our foot. We did go to elbow. Now what we are going to do is walk this hand further through and we are gonna take our shoulder to our knee. Drive up, change sides, get to the other side. I'm gonna shimmy so you can see the other side. Set up, elbow, walk your hand through. Bring your shoulder to your knee and your head towards the ground. I'm gonna rotate so you can see the other side. Down, through, touch. I'm gonna set up straight ahead and we're gonna show you three reps on each side. Shin box across. Other side. Shin box across. Other side. Shin box across. Other side. Good. Simple activity, but there we are mobilizing our hips and mobilizing our spine at the same time. The final exercise in this series will be a rock bottom squat position where we're going to do our, what we call four count. We call it four count because there are four counts in every single rep. I don't care if we have turnout on this exercise for now. Later on, we will want our feet to be pointed straight ahead, drive our knees out and sit further back. I've had three serious knee surgeries. If you don't have knee surgeries, you should be able to get much lower than me. Your tailbone should go almost all the way to the ground eventually. From here, we're gonna reach one hand. One, two, three, use this hand to bring us back up. Four, change your lead. One, two, three, drag yourself forward. Four, one, two, three, and four. From here, you'll notice you are going to Drive up with your legs to activate all the muscles in the bottom of the squat. One, two, three, and four. Very simple series of exercises. These are hip mobility drills done in five different levels. Windshield wiper, one leg moves. Isolate one hip at a time with that internal rotation. Version two, both legs pivot. Basic shin box, lean forward, verticalize your spine and drive your hip bone down into the ground. Two sits bones on the ground is the goal. Movement number three is our shin box to elbow touch. Elbow comes to knee, thread your arm underneath. When you come out, press both arms to lock out. You'll feel something move in your back and then transition to the other side. For now, transition any way you can. As you get better, lean forward in the transition. Movement number four, shin box. Instead of going to the elbow, we're gonna drive that hand further through and we're gonna take our shoulder to our knee, shoulder to knee. And then exercise number five is our four count. Rock bottom squat, one, two, three. Use the prep from three to drag you towards center for four. Change sides. Right is for one rep, left is another rep. Do an equal number of reps on both sides. The format for this is pretty simple. Set a one minute timer, let it repeat five times. Do each exercise in a row. It's gonna take exactly five minutes. Very simple strategy, can be done anywhere. Do it every day. 
as your hip mobility gets better, your back pain will lessen. Normally, people's back pain is related to either hip function or shoulder function. So this is a very simple way to get down and work your hip mobility so that you can have improved athletic performance in anything you do.